Hello. Hey, everybody. It's home for the holidays. The holidays were home for. It's home for the holidays. The holidays were home for commutable. Disputable. Refutable. Demutable. Better <laughs> what we know, know that you'll be watching, watching, watching. watching. The home show for, for the holidays. holidays. Wherever you are. Ah, ah. <laughs> what are you talking you say? about? Demutable? <laughs> 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 that word, I don't, I, it's the weirdest thing ever. It's just the weirdest thing ever. I was, we were talking about this beforehand, yeah. about the fact that this song, which I wrote the lyrics to, I cannot memorize, I cannot remember because I'm a bad lyricist. That's just all that's to it. Because here's the reason, folks. We, do, and do you agree with me on the reason? Uh, I had a different theory for the reason, but you tell them your reason. Well, it, the, the lyric is supposed to go, Katie's supposed to say commutable, uh, and then I say refutable, and she says disputable, and then I say delusional. And the reason that I get hung up on that all the time is because, of course, it doesn't end with ubble. It ends with unl. Right. Right? And my theory is that also, another reason is that it is... Um, not a science word it is like th which is the humor of it yes it's not a math physics i don't know what semester we're in now right, we're right. kind of in like there's <laughs> right. this bridge it's winter the, break it's, time yeah it's the um, science discipline yes right right <laughs> and so like delusional is more in the social sciences um and you That's know everything true. else is in the hard sciences and the mathematics That's areas true it's revealing something about me apparently delusions yes yes <laughs> but i said to katie you know my motivation for writing that was so that i could call her delusional and thinking that it should be called the katie and jeff show right, I right. Mean, that's that's the motivation behind the lyric but right. the actor is having a hard time connecting to it because katie doll's too adorable so See, how can i call her delusional it's that it, that's right i i think um i think you You're may signing you on probably to that, are you? so um katie doll yeah. what do we have to cover um we want to talk about the rekindle market and we want to tell the people <laughs> <laughs> I, did you hear the j yeah I, oh yes <laughs> i mean clear it was it was really clear <laughs> <It's like, laughs> what <laughs> the rekindle <-yango -yan> <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, that's very funny. <laughs> so, what's going on in the rekindle re rekindle market? Well, uh, <laughs> well, in the <laughs> so okay, I'll stop. Um, the okay, the um, uh, hey, uh, rekindle campaign, rekindle campaign. So that's a, that's how you support our us and keep our embers burning. That's what that rekindle market. There we have it. So in the rekindle market, we have some examples of things you can get. This is our first ever Northern Guy, Guy calendar. calendar. Too clever already. Yes, and it is pretty amazing, the guys that you will see. Here's, here's I'm going to come up to the front, and Jeff can... There's can, Doc yeah. Heidi on the ski slopes, Mr. January, of course. Um, Chase Steger put this calendar together, and the captions alone are worth... I mean, look at that picture of Doug Mancheski hugging a birch tree, and Dan Clare baking a pie. Doug Clemens getting ready to do a dance jam or fashion spy. Lee Becker tossing bread in the air. And that's Chase himself out there, Mr. Handyman Tool Guy. I also like to point out we have the old headshots of all these guys. On our birthdays. And we all selected birthday, January, January, January 8th, 8th, same as Elvis, same as David Bowie, Look at that. same as Shirley Bassey. Who else do you need to know? Day after Richard Nixon, day before Millard Fillmore. Wow, man. <laughs> I'm glad it's more than I bargained. <laughs> That's Dave Hudson, and he's screaming mad at that uke. There's Matt Zembrowski, all contempl contemplative painting, and Alex Campia even more so with his instruments. I'm out in the garden. That's a rutabaga that Charles Williams grew. Look at that beast. Yes, a rutabaga. Steve Kaler, um, Ann Bernstein has already purchased every calendar available. She's ripping out Steve Kaler's even as we speak. And uh, that is Ray Jivoff. And he, by the way, he, he's the, he's the, um, he's, he's the uh, what's the word? Yes, <laughs> those are two words, and we use them both. <laughs> the blow mold provider. <laughs> well, here, read this, read this. That says, when it comes to holiday hunks, Ray really blows the mold. Isn't that adorable? So this, uh, this is one of the lovely uh, items that you can get at, um, it's only, it, it, well, it's good all the time because you can just cross off 2021 and put 2022 next, the year after next. But for 2021, you can get the Northern Guy calendar. Thank you, Chase. And we just have these hot off the press t-shirts 
uh, that say, Oh my goodness. The Look Jeff at that. and Katie show. That's and the Grinch and Max in their, <laughs> uh, right. in their, in their, in their alias life. That's right. And then on the back, it says banter, music, bakery. With periods in between With periods, each for, yes. for emphasis. Emphasis on the syllables. So these are awesome. We've got them in all sizes. They're really nice, soft, t-shirty fabric. Feels really lovely to wear. And this color is called Tahiti Blue, so you'll Tahiti feel warm. Blue? Yes. Oh, so Polynesian. Yeah, it's, a, it's very po the most Polynesian of all the blues. So um, I recommend uh, purchasing those <laughs> also on the Rekindle Market. <laughs> the Rekindle Market. Make sure you get your J's okay, in there. Geez. Oh, that's so good. Um, so we're, uh, let's let's um you know one of the things that I like to do this time of year is um, I just get out my Christmas Carol book, and I just start leafing through it in the evenings. I'll just sit down at the piano, and uh, Charles might be making dinner, or we'll just have had a cocktail, or we're still enjoying a cocktail, or whatever's going on on that particular evening, and I'll just start playing through some carols. So why don't we do that? And uh, part of the reason that we'd like to do this is because one of the uh, um, items at the Rekindle Market is a mixed tape. And it's um, just like it sounds. It's a tape, only it's digital in this world, of course, of all of your, a lot of your Northern Sky favorite people singing traditional Christmas carols. Um, so that's one of the things that you can purchase. It's really probably all of them, because uh, all of your favorite ones, because there's you and me on there. Oh. So I mean, that pro covers bases, all their favorite bases ones. Bases covered. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do um, I Saw Three Ships. Okay. If you know this one, sing along at home. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. Oh, there went my page. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Just like I told you. Here, you want to use my capo to hold, it, hold that one oh, back? Oh, look at that. It's like a clothespin. Well, I mean, you could just lean it against, and at least it wouldn't. Like that, you mean? Yeah. You're clever. It's like a paperweight. Yeah, it is. Should we start this one over again? We should, I think so. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day? And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? Can anybody guess? Um, no. Tell us. The Virgin Mary and Christ were there on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. The Virgin Mary and Christ were there on Christmas Day in the morning. And this book, which is kind of fun, has um, a little explanation of these carols. And this one says, Christmas legends concerning ships probably had their origin among people of seafaring countries. Well, it makes sense. It does make sense. The traditional English carol, I Saw Three Ships, describes the arrival at Bethlehem on Christmas morning of the ships bearing Jesus and Mary. <laughs> I, I know, the English in, this is the parentheses part of this explanation, <laughs> the English in, the, the, are you getting the parentheses? I, I got them, I got them, <laughs> I'm holding them up. <laughs> the English in long ago days may not have realized that Bethlehem is nowhere near the sea. <laughs> they may not have realized. <laughs> They may not, thinking as they did that everything was sort of, the England was the center of everything. Yeah, everyone exactly. was kind of like England. Exactly. Um, and exactly. so everyone must have, a, have many borders of water. Right, exactly. And, yeah. and of course, um, oh, this reminds me that many of you probably thought that it was a donkey slash ass that brought <laughs> Jesus and Joseph and, and the baby, <laughs> not Jesus yet, Mary and Joseph, uh -huh. before the baby was born, right, right into Bethlehem. Uh, th and the reason I bring this up is because in December to Remember, Doc Heidi has an hysterical monologue about the donkey. It truly is hysterical. It really is. It's brilliant. But let's talk about this. Are you, do you say an hysterical? Uh, do you say an historical also? <laughs> what did I say? Do you, well, do you say that, are you one of those people who says an? Oh, an hysterical? An, like, would you say that an instead of a? Before, yes, before the H <laughs> no, words. No, I don't say oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no. But you did say an hysterical. I know I did. <laughs> well, you all weigh in on your comments. What would you say? <laughs> an or a? Katie Doll pays attention. I mean, it's what, to, especially to grammar. This I, is I, a, know, I know. know. Even verbal grammar. Verbal grammar. The verbal. most important kind. Is there such a thing? I mean, I don't, I've never heard of a, a differentiation before. 
There's just grammar, and sometimes <laughs> you speak it, or sometimes you <laughs> write it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, I guess that's true. I mean, verbal grammar is, is verbal you know, grammar. your mom's mom who talks a lot. <laughs> 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 it's almost as if we planned that joke. It is, but we didn't. Can you believe it? That kind of slickness, just off the cuff. Hard to know, hard to believe. Oh, priceless, priceless. Yeah. And that's not even available at the Rekindle Mirkit. 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 Yeah. What are we doing next? Where can we go to do some trivia? Oh, we're already doing some <laughs> trivia. So, Katie Dahl, what did you um, suggest as trivia things for uh, Christmas holiday themed well, things I that have... you're interested in? I mean, I have some uh, some book and movie touchstones of my of my own that happen in the holidays. So I believe I mentioned the gift of the Magi, which my mom and I read every Christmas Eve. Oh, you do? Yes. Uh, we or um, uh, the Gift's movies, the some various movies. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned um, the Muppet Christmas Carol. Uh huh. Was one of them? Yeah. I've never seen it. Oh. Really? Oh, you miss out. Well, I'm a huge Christmas Carol fan. Yeah. I really am. I yeah. mean, I. I, I um, uh, uh, who is the author? Uh, Neil Gaiman. Do you know him? Neil Gaiman. I think Charles Dickens wrote it, actually. No, no, no. I know. I know. Charles <laughs> Dickens wrote it. Neil Gaiman did did a wonderful one man reading of it. He's oh, an author cool. himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's also got a great voice. Oh, so cool. Yeah. So if you're in the mood for hearing Christmas Carol by somebody really good, I, I saw the one man version of it on Broadway with Patrick Stewart. Mm. It was unbelievable. Oh, I bet. Unbelievable. Oh, that's so cool. It's amazing. You know, my mom and I used to go every Christmas Eve to the Guthrie and uh, see the, A Christmas Carol uh -huh. every Did Christmas really? Eve day. No kidding. And um, it was so exciting. First of all, like John Heggie started appearing, and that was exciting because uh -huh. I knew him. Uh -huh. um, uh, and Richard Ohms, who um, turned out to be an actor at Door Shakespeare for a number of years. Oh, he yeah. was Scrooge for a long time. Oh, no kidding. Um, so it was just, it was as a little kid who wasn't really in that theater world, it was I really knew who those people were, and I... Yeah. Loved them. Yeah. Sally Wingert, have you ever crossed paths with her? She's like my favorite so. Minneapolis actor, except for all of you other Minneapolis actors on the feed. Um, she's so great. So anyway, continue. Christmas Carol. Carry on. I, I was in it when I was in uh, in grad school, and th that was the only, I think that was the only time that I appeared in it in my recollection. Who did you play? Well, I was in grad school, so we were peons. Um, we, it was at a professional uh -huh. theater company, um, so we were all the carolers and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Actually, I played one of the guys, you know, who rails at S Scrooge when he's dead. One of those banker types, yeah. you know, who says, "Wasn't I he?" Uh, his, uh, 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 he was a stingy. Uh, uh, so glad he's gone. Yeah, stuff like uh, that. Uh, yeah. I thought you could make a good ghost of Christmas yet to come. You could be a real imposing like pointer. Ghost of Christmas yes. come <laughs> hither. See, wouldn't you be good? Yeah, I am yeah. good. The ghost of why is the ghost of, the ghost of Christmas? Pre, uh, that's future, right? Who does that? Um, is always mysterious, right? Uh -huh. Never. They, I mean, in any kind of what do they do Muppet Christmas? Well, it's Carol? very scary in the Muppets. It's like it's like oh Muppets, yay! Oh, a terrifying Christmas yet to come. It's a very surprising choice. If oh, you is ask that right? Me. Yeah. Um, so here's something. I, I wonder if it's true that I have this. Nobody knows for sure. Nobody knows. No. Um, the gods of technology. What is uh? What what are we talking about right now? Trivia, Muppet oh. Christmas Carol. Yeah, about that. So, do you know this? Oh, yeah. well. The world has got a smile today. The world has got a glow. Nothing no strangers when the stranger, stranger says hello. So the that's promise Kermie. of excitement. What, he's what, Bob Cratchit. He's Bob Cratchit. That's yeah. right. See, you know, you're going to know all of these. Um, so, um, when the bookkeepers are freezing, what do they say is frozen? Um, our, well, they're rats. Um, we're, we're turning into ratsicles. We're turning, our tails are turning into icicles. Our, um, <laughs> uh, what do they say? They, 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 um, our pencils, our pencil, pencil, pen. What do they say turns into something sickles? Is this is I a don't sickles? Know. Oh, I don't know this movie. Oh, what is the answer? Assets. Oh, their assets <laughs> are frozen. Are frozen. Assets. Oh, that is so hilarious. <laughs> they are so funny. They have a lot of little things. And then Bob Cratchit is like Scrooge. Maybe we should put some more fire on the, you know, coal in the fire. And and there and he he's like no. And the rats are like. It was it was the frog's idea. It wasn't our idea. The frog's idea. <laughs> the frog's idea. <laughs> yeah. Now, now that's like um, a lot of the Muppet stuff. There actually are, are real people in it too, or just one? 
Because um, Scrooge is played by Michael Caine, isn't Scrooge he? Scrooge is played by Michael Caine. Not Belle, as a Muppet, as himself. Right. Yeah. Belle is real, a real, oh, is a that real right? woman. Um, so, so when Kermit, go, uh, not uh, when he goes, oh, Belle. Okay, I get it. But Fezziwig. Fezziwig is Fozzie Wig. Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was Mrs. too obvious. Mrs. Cratchit is is P Miss Piggy. Piggy. Yeah. 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 Is yeah. she is she a nice Mrs. Cratchit? <laughs> No, she's not. We're not very nice. She doesn't remember her twin daughters. Which which one is which? Bettina and Batilda. Um, Bettina and Batilda. <laughs> yes. <laughs> between you and between Tilda. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, what are the real names of the Crash children? Do you know? Uh, you mean? I don't. Oh, well, in the real in the Guthrie version, I'm sure it's right. Is there Mary? Is that the one who comes home from school? I think so. Yeah. And then there's Tim, of oh, course. Mary. Oh, Mary. We're so glad you hey, made it, we'll Mary. Hey, we'll help you with the pudding. Um, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the Irish version. Yeah, of the I was, well, <laughs> <laughs> maybe Mary had gone to Ireland, Ireland to, to travel. Um, um, Mary and Tim are the only ones I would really know. Mary and Tim. Yeah. <laughs> the rest are middle children. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's Peter. Peter in Peter. the in the, um, Peter Muppet. Yeah. Um, uh, what are they played by? What, who's Tiny, Tiny Tim in this? Uh, um, what's that little frog's name? Uh, oh, there's a little frog. Yeah, you know he's he's exists in other things too. Yeah, I like don't remember Kermit's his name. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Younger tadpole self. Yeah. Uh huh. Right. Does he? Um, this so this thing is obviously a musical. Yes. And, uh, so lots of original songs yes. written for it. Do you know Do you know the uh, version with uh, Albert Finney? I haven't seen that version. No. It's musical as well. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, cool. It's really good. And did you see the remake with George C. Scott? No. It also is really good. Oh, cool. And and do you know the Alistair Sims version? No. The original black and white. Hmm. Oh, you must see it. Oh, great. Oh yeah. Oh, well, that's a must watch. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Now there is one that is sort of forgettable. It was like, I think the Sims one was made in the '30s or '40s, and then there's one that was done I think in the '50s. Um, Anyway, I digress, <laughs> but not really because it's all about Christmas Carol. Uh huh. Not Muppet Christmas Carol, but oh, we're, we're, still Christmas Carol in we're still in the ballpark. Yeah. Or we're still in the Caroling Corral. Uh, <laughs> the Caroling Corral. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there another one here? Oh, Rich um, Higdon says Robin is that little frog's name. Thanks, Rich. Is Robin? That little frog, Tiny Tim, is played by Robin. Oh, but they don't call him that in this, do they? But no, in the other Muppet things they do. <laughs> Thanks. He's still Tiny Tim in this. Yes. Oh, good. That would throw me off, I'm yes. afraid. But you said that the other uh, the other siblings were Batilda and Betweenia. Batilda and Bettina, and then there's Peter, and I don't, those are the ones I know. <laughs> what, what do they do at the end? Is it a goose? Is it a turkey? Is a it goose! A uh, <laughs> what? The one as big as me? There's a little, little cute little bunny who goes and go, gets the one as big as him, which is way bigger than him. Um, <laughs> yes, it's very cute. It is a goose. A goose! A goose! Mom! A goose! Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've heard it. You've heard the whole thing. <laughs> I'm getting it all, the play-by-play -play of the Muppet Christmas Carol yeah. right here on Home for the Holidays with Jeff and Katie. <laughs> um, Katie and Jeff. Uh, Katie and Jeff. Uh, uh, I don't know if... Oh. Um, fill, in, fill in the blank. Look close, and there must be a blank. Sweet man, man inside. A sweet man inside. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Well, I'm gonna have to check out the Muppet Christmas yes, Carol. That's absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. Katie Doll. Okay, that's trivia. I did real good on that one. Yeah. You, you did so good on that one. Thanks. You like you wrote your own trivia questions. That's the <laughs> that's my favorite kind of trivia. You know, when you get somebody who obviously is steeped in it uh -huh. in a way that. Obviously, I'm not, <laughs> and, and then it's totally enjoyable for me to learn everything about the, the Christmas card. Well, good. Yay. <clears throat> uh, so, hooray, trivia. We're going to have some more trivia later today. What's um, coming up at 10.30? At 11.30, at 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 we've got a Rekindle Spotlight with Mackenzie Kaler. Oh. And she's going to talk about... Do you know who Mackenzie is? Yeah. Um, she, is, she lives in Ephraim. Uh -huh. And um, she is going to, I think that there might be some um, references to um, people being named after uh, things in Victory Farm uh, during that Rekindle Spotlight. Oh. So I recommend tuning in as the writer of co-writer of Victory Farm. Yeah. That's at 1130. Excellent. And then at 1150, I don't know if you all have been watching the Ernie DeMucher weather reports yet. but Oh, the weather reports there? Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't been, now is the time to, to check in. Yeah, because um, you can find out what's going on in other places in the country. At this time around, I think you're going to find out about maybe California and Texas. Yep, they're going to be real warm. 
real well, warm. They probably are. And now another another thing is if you have not yet signed up for your um, free greeting to be distributed by the Elf and Space Bear, yeah, they're going to be back on at twelve thirty. So it's a while. So you got your chance to. Yep, there you go. Send yeah. your Elf and Space Bear greeting directly to Elf and Space Bear Greetings at Gmail dot com. Wow. Yes. I'm so glad they got that set up, even though they were en route. I know, isn't that awesome? It I was. Is. It was. I, they had also, really it's good amazing. Internet. They had good Wi-Fi on their flight. Clearly, apparently. clearly. Well, when they're intergalactic, you can. Um, Maybe they they probably are their own routers. Oh wow! Well, at least the space bear. Yeah, I would think. Yeah, normally they don't run routes very well. <laughs> But maybe they have they can route the signal very well. Katie 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 Doll went to football. That was good, Katie Doll. Thank that was you. a good segue. Thanks. You're uh, welcome. Uh, and now tonight, um, tonight there is some uh, December to remember. So don't sign up. Don't forget to sign up for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's our premiere event at seven. That features a lot of singing by a lot of different awesome people, yeah. Northern Sky people that you love, um, including we've just found out that we've got a bunch of footage. Of uh, three different songs um, sung by Fred Alley, which is exciting. We haven't had any two video. Two sung. Two sung. Any, um, One he listens very intently. Oh, good. We haven't had any of uh, those uh, yet nope. in this um, season of archival footage, so that'll be really great. That's really cool. Yeah. That's very cool. All right, so is that, do, does that take us out now on this segment? I think, I mean... Do, what, do you all have any questions? No? There, okay, you seem um, you seem very uh, placid, and I love all your hot chocolates I see out there and your jammies. And People have been making lot, lots of recommendations for things to do while they're indulging mm. this day, mm. which they should be doing. Mm -hmm. There's you no excuse indulge. not to. No, there is no... There's not even any football on, everyone. There's not? Well, I mean, there's, there's college football. There's not even any professional football on, uh, yeah. everyone. The, yeah. the college, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Uh, wrap presents, that was one of the things that people said. Be careful of uh, dripping oh, maple good. syrup on them, apparently. Oh, that's yes, been a, right. That's been some kind of a tragic thing going on out there. We don't know why. No. Um, you can drink hot chocolate, of course, um, and then you can make some eggnog for mm. later, as long as you can make the eggnog while you're watching us. Just bring your computer into the kitchen, make your eggnog. Uh, oh, we were talking about the eggnog toast that's going to be coming up at 8.30 tonight, after December to Remember. Um, at some point, I was hoping I might be able to do it for today, but I didn't. So, you know, um, but I have a really great recipe for homemade eggnog. We could maybe share it with everybody. And you can get a cookbook of the Jeff and Katie show on the Rekindle Market. We're going to uh, talk more about we'll that talk more about during that. our baking segment. I won't start a new hole. No cans of worms should be opened at no. this point in a segment, Katie Doll. S especially no cans of worm when you're talking about baking. No, no worms then. No worms Oof. then. The gross Katie doll. Yeah, okay. Sorry, everyone. Don't um, start watching them up at Christmas Carol. Save that for tomorrow. Save that for tomorrow. Yeah. Before but, the Packer game. But let us know how you enjoyed it, especially Katie doll. Yeah. And, <laughs> yes. And you can you can um, also email the Elf and Space Bear and let them know how you liked it and also get a greeting in. Woohoo! Excellent. All right, thanks, everyone. We'll see you back here. We'll be back here at noon live. At noon live. Bye now. Bye.